Ever danced with the shadows cast by an energy vampire or felt the cosmic ripples of a psychic attack? It's a wild world out there, my friends. We're going to show you how to spot these energy vampires and how to arm yourselves with the know-how to fend off these supernatural shenanigans. Thank you very much. Are you ready to embark on an otherworldly adventure? All right, let's do it. Did you ever feel like this? For no known reason, you feel like your energy's been drained or you might get some aches or ailments out of the blue that have no rhyme or reason for happening to you. And for those of you who like to partake in a few drinks at the nightclub or local pub, do you know the place where the most negative entities hang out? It's right above the doorway where you enter and exit. If you drink enough cocktails, you'll be an easy target for these entities. At some point in our lives, these situations have happened to many of us. So what to do if you're being energetically or psychically attacked? Number one, pretty simple, eliminate contact with those people. What they're doing is they're feeding. They've got that cord attached and they're feeding and feeding and feeding. Starve them, cut off all contact with them. Whatever they're gonna do, let them go do their little thing. But if you're not giving them that energy, they're going to have to go elsewhere because they, they won't be getting it from you. And by engaging with them, conversely, you're consenting basically to give them your energy. Number two is to know your trigger points. What is it that really gets your goat? Like for me, I have a lead foot. I like driving fast. If there's a slow person in the passing lane, that irks me. If you're driving up a hill, and somebody's hitting their brake as you're going up the hill. That irks me. But yeah, I like driving fast. Okay, drugs and alcohol are another one. Everything in moderation, okay? And I'm not telling you to go and do drugs or to do alcohol or to even eat shitty food, okay? Everything in moderation. Now, eventually, you're gonna go out and have a piece of pizza and it's GMO flour in the dough, it's processed cheese, it's GMO tomatoes. So if you want to go out and have a slice of pizza, do it, you know, but everything in moderation. This is really interesting. The number one place where entities hang out are in the doorway of bars, right above the doorway. They'll scout you out as you're walking in. They'll be paying attention how much you're drinking. And if you reach that point where you've drank way too much, there's a huge portal that opens up and they can jump right in. So be very careful. They call it spirits for a reason, right? Smudging. Make sure you smudge if you feel like you're being energetically or psychically attacked smudge what i say is i demand that all negative entities leave my house immediately you're no longer welcome here only those of the highest vibration of truth light and love are welcome and i go through and i repeat that over and over and i'm smudging all over my house i keep repeating that this one's so obvious but how often do we do this ask your guides and angels ask your posse go right down the line creator source universe spirit guides guardian angels friends and family on both sides of the veil collective neighbors and friends higher self mother earth go right up and down ask them for help you know your guides and angels are sitting there waiting 24 7 365 twiddling their thumbs saying okay when are they going to ask because you know we do have this law of non-interference in drastic cases i imagine they are able to interfere but you basically have to ask them so they're sitting there you see they're right behind me hanging out there nodding their heads right now yep so ask them if you're if you're getting psychically attacked ask them for help ask them for protection be careful with your sexual energy too who you're giving it away to and who you're receiving it from better be high vibrational we'll put it that way I'm not going to go too much into this, but I think you already understand where I'm going with that because you're extremely vulnerable at that point. So, you know, um, just be careful. All right. I'm just going to leave it at that. Use visualization techniques. And I explain this on, I have an article and a video on in5d.com called what to do before you meditate. And I highly recommend checking that out. And I will put a link in the more info section. Uh, so check that article out basically what you're doing is creating that that bubble of energy and i walk you through it on exactly what to do so another thing 
this is what I do anyway, because I, you know, I live right here by the beach and I try to get out as often as I can, but I do a, a walk of gratitude. Like I said, I, I'll, I'll call on my posse, uh, creator, source, universe, spirit guides, guardian angels, friends and family on both sides of the veil, galactic neighbors and friends, higher self and mother earth. And I'll post a link here um, and check it out. And, you know, I call them my posse. But feel free to change that. Invite whoever you want. <laughs> you know, make make this your own posse. Yeah, you know, these are the people that I really rely on because I I cut out all the middlemen. I go you know basically directly to source when, when I have any issues. Uh, the other thing, another thing is um, a love bubble meditation, which once again I'll put a link for right here. When I do a love bubble meditation, I'll ask my posse to magnify their loving healing energy from their heart center and spread it out as far as they can throughout the planet, galaxy, universe, multiverse, and omniverse. And then we walk back to wherever I am on the beach and everybody that comes into our field is affected by that. So, and you can do that anywhere. You can do that at a mall. If you're driving down the highway, um, wherever you are, send out that love intention. So put out that love bubble energy. The last thing is cord cutting. There are a number of articles, and I'll list them all right here too, on n5d.com, on what to do, how to do it. Cord cutting is very, very important if you are being energetically or psychically attacked by some nefarious beings. My guides and angels have been basically telling me to pass on this message, and I've said it so many times, but it's so important. These five things are so incredibly important. Number one, love. Especially like random acts of kindness, those are huge. But just love, just love. Put that energy of love out there. Number two, gratitude. That's why I do the walk of gratitude, you know. The universe loves gratitude. Um, so when you put that appreciation out there, the universe is just smiling and uh, high-fiving you, basically, you and your higher self. Number three is forgive. Dolores Cannon talks about forgiveness. Um, it's the easiest way to overcome karma. Forgive. And when you're forgiving, be sure to forgive yourself, too. And that way, you know, you're going to help yourself. You know, if we do have to do any kind of life review before we move to the next place of spiritual progression you already have that part covered okay number four is to maintain a high vibration when you maintain that high vibration even if you're getting energetically and psychically attacked especially the energetically part nothing can stay within a high vibration keep that vibration high uh, do things that make you happy and the last thing is to ground you know those people that you're seeing in this genre that are losing it they're not grounded <laughs> so get out there and ground whether it's at a lake a mountain a stream the beach the desert in the snow doesn't matter just get out there and ground make that connection to gaia and feel it and if your mind is like preoccupied stay there until there's nothing in your mind except the love and appreciation of being in the moment i'm going to leave it off at that i'm just so grateful that all of you were able to join me you know, and to everyone that joined me on YouTube as well, on the recorded version, thank you so much. I guess, you know, that'll be it. I'm sending you all infinite love and light and gratitude for joining me and being part of my evening tonight. So namaste to all.